Hi, I'm Sharon Kim, and I'm with ENI Puzzles. And this is my uncle, uh, Chungman Kim, and he's the inventor of ENI Puzzles. And we want, just want to share a little bit with you about our product. So, basically, this is a sliding puzzle that, if you look, there's an empty space. And the closest thing that people recognize this too is the old sliding 15 puzzles where you move the pieces around and you can slide the pieces up and down to make patterns and so the end goal would be maybe to create something like this but there are also a lot of fun ways to become creative and make lots of different patterns you know as really as many as your imagination can can take you to do but the beauty of this and the difference of this is is that it's something that really engages your motor skills as well as your intelligence. Hence the E and I, which stands for EQ and IQ. And this was actually invented by my uncle in Korea because before he had his first grandson, he wanted to make sure that his grandson would have a toy that would be both fun and educational. And so he and his son set forth and designed out this model. And the first prototype of this was actually whittled by hand by my uncle with wood. And he took that and then he brought that over to a factory and eventually they came out with products like this. And I can ask my uncle to talk to you a little bit about um, the relationship with his his grandson because it's really quite beautiful and, and this is still a toy that his grandson plays with. So, Sangmini, <laughs> 그 전자제품이나 인터넷 오락 게임에 빠져 있기 때문에 그 그런 피해를 없애기 위해서 내가 그 손주를 위해서 어린 손주가 하나 있는데 걔를 위해서 개발을 했어요. 그래서 퍼즐의 아주 기본적인 그러면서도 그 작동이 되는 그런 동적인 퍼즐을 만듦으로 인해서 애들이 흥미를 갖고 어 쉽게 갖고 놀수 있게끔 이렇게 개발을 했습니다. 그랬더니 우리 그 손주가 굉장히 재밌게 갖고 놀더라고요. Yeah. Um, so basically a little of what he talked about was you know really the fundamental beauty of this puzzle has a lot to do with the, the basic skills that it addresses in terms of um, motor skills and then also just um, being able to problem solve a little bit and he's saying that in the, in the modern day with the electronic toys that it becomes very difficult to pull children away from that type of thing and engage them in something that's really going to be beneficial for them and um, he's really found that even his grandson has taken a huge liking to this and it's become a hugely popular toy um, not just around but I think it's starting to be recognized as well by schools for example my uncle has explained that there are elementary schools now that are taking this and integrating it into their educational curriculum because they see the value of taking children away from you know having them step away from electronics for a little bit and engage in something very fundamental thank you